and I'm I'm done with it, folks. I'm done with it. I'm done with messing with that. Good morning. So it's been a odd couple days and a frustrating couple days. For those of you who've been following for at least the last month, uh, about a month ago we put out a video where we were having some issues with our refrigerator and we got a little thermistor adjuster and installed that and things seemed to be doing okay. Um, at that time I realized or I found out that part of the reason the refrigerator wasn't keeping things cold was because I think my propane regulator was going bad. So I replaced that because I actually had an extra one. I don't know if I actually put that in a video anywhere, but uh, then our refrigerator was, you know, fantastic. I mean, it was getting down, sometimes the refrigerated sections was, were getting down to like, you know, 28 degrees when I'd wake up in the morning, almost freezing some of our stuff. So, um, but however, since then, things have just progressively got worse and worse and worse. And I'm, I'm done with it, folks. I'm done with it. I'm done with messing with that. Um, you know, we explored the option of 12 volt refrigerators. Those are very expensive. They're running probably about $1,500, the ones I was looking at. And often you order them and you can't return them. Um, so I decided I'm going a different route. And uh, shout out to Rick and Teresa who motivated me to try this. Um, so last night after dealing with the refrigerator being at like 42 degrees, 44 degrees all day yesterday, even though I had it turned up as cold as it'll go, I finally just ordered a new refrigerator. And uh, this time I'm going strictly electric. Just like a refrigerator you have in your house, I'm getting rid of the propane absorption style refrigerator and just going straight electric compressor. And uh, I'll show you the box here. There it is. So uh, it's kind of a mess inside. I'm actually going to extend the video um, and do a install of the new refrigerator once I know everything fits and is working correctly. But this morning we plugged in the refrigerator and let it run for like an hour and a half and it was already at like super cold temperatures. So uh, I'm done with the old style RV refrigerator, the two way, and I'm gonna go strictly electric. I think we have enough solar and battery power uh, to not really, you know, struggle every day, especially during the summer. Um, and if honestly, if I need to turn the generator on for an hour each day just to get the battery up a little bit higher to compensate for the extra draw on the electric, we will. So we'll take you along today on this video. We're going to show you our install process, but it's going to have to wait another day until we move to our next location so that I have easier access to the home improvement stores, which I'm sure I'm going to have to run to a thousand times to get different things to do this project. We'll be back. So it's a travel day today, and we are headed out of our awesome boondocking spot underneath the Dragoon Mountains here outside of Tombstone. We've got most everything packed up. We just got to bring the slide in. We've got the new refrigerator situated in the garage area. Let me show you how we did that for now until we can take the other one out of its home there. But yeah, we got the refrigerator right here. So we've got it strapped down with some ratchet straps. We've got it packed back in here with some, some stuff. So we are just getting ready. You can see here, we've got the backs removed from the couch. Um, so though it's ready for transit, we're gonna bring the slide in here pretty soon. And then we are gonna head out. We are actually stopping at an Escape East Park um, up in Benson. Arizona to dump our tanks and get rid of our garbage and meet up with Rick and Teresa and then go on to our next destination outside of Safford and where we're going to work on the rest of the refrigerator project and of course we're gonna film that for you Rick doesn't know about it yet so I'm pretty excited to tell him that we're finally following his lead see you soon folks so the time has come folks I want you to say goodbye propane electric refrigerator you're out of here. New refrigerator currently sitting in the garage area. We're excited about this Harrier or 
higher or higher or however you say that. So I'm going to probably time lapse this. Uh, I'm gonna start trying to figure out how to remove the old one. And then Rick's gonna come over and help me take it out, etc. But I'm gonna have to do some stuff behind the scenes back there as well. So I'll uh, be jumping around from time lapse to non time lapse. See you soon. Okay, I'm here in the back of the refrigerator um, and I've got the uh, cover removed. And I have gone in and I found two screws. I'm hoping that's all that uh, I'm going to have to remove back here. I've also disconnected the propane line. Um, I've got a, let me get over here in my pocket. I've got a plug for it so that we can close off this propane line and it won't be active. And uh, then I hopefully I can try to remove this. So let me. So here's the old propane here. line. I disconnected it from the compressor. I've disconnected the 12 volt from here. I've disconnected the AC cord that used to go right there. I'm going to have to remove my thermistor adjuster, and I'll do that here once I pull it out a little bit further. Actually, I might have to pop that off. Oh yeah, there we go. That's that was hard. Um, and there were two screws, one right there and one right there. So hopefully I'm going to try to... Uh, All right, forward. we've loosened up everything on the outside, we think. And the four screws that I think are holding this in on the front. So Rick and I are going to try to pull it out now. We'll see how this goes. Wish us luck. Okay, we're going to try this now. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, there. That's oh, good. Good. Yeah, perfect. Sweet. All right, we got it out. We'll be right back. Quick update, Michelle is working on getting some of the old insulation out of the cavity here. Let me show you. We found that tape uses, uh, tape works pretty well with it. Mich uh, Michelle, um, Rick and I got the door hinges for our new refrigerator turned around and put on the other side because we realized that it wasn't going to open correctly. Um, or the, the bottom basket uh, drawer would not open if the door wasn't like really far open so we had to switch them around but that is all done and it looks good and sealed it up really nice so we are actually going to wait until tomorrow to put it back in its little home because we need to get some parts from Home Depot which we anticipated and so we'll take you with us tomorrow when we go do that we're also going to take that big hunk of crap and throw that out at the landfill. Uh, I called them today and turns out they charge $31 for a refrigerator, which is fine. Uh, it was gonna charge me $40 if I had um, did the hallway service with Lowe's anyway, so it's not a big deal. So we will be going to the landfill tomorrow and then we're just gonna clean this up and seal it up and I'll uh, insert a couple pictures of what it looks like after we've got it all cleaned up and sealed up. Um, since we're not going to need the external ventilation like we did in the old refrigerator. Welcome to the next day, folks. Rick and I have gone to Home Depot. We picked up some of our supplies. We got some angle brackets here um, for the back to secure it. We've got an angle bracket that hopefully will mount to the front, or to the top, I should say, of the refrigerator. And then mount right here. This, this little six inch thing. We're gonna mount right here. I don't know if you can see that, but. And then hopefully it should secure like somewhere right around there to help keep it in place. And then we'll go behind and uh, try that. But first thing, we're going to get it up and see how it fits in there before we put this because I got a screw into the top of the refrigerator and I don't have enough room 
up top with um, you know with it sitting up in that in that cavity. So we'll be right back and I'll put you on time lapse. kind of show you what we did here on the back side to give you a better idea of how we secured it. So what we did is we put a couple L brackets. There's one right there, one right here, connecting the fridge to the, the uh, plywood floor. We then put a two by a one by two underneath the frame here and then we took out this negative screw or the ground screw and actually put in a longer screw so that it went all the way through down here because it was like a little quarter inch screw. And then we sprayed some uh, spray foam in here to help give it some rigidity and support. And we put the plug down into this hole and ran it over to my inverter. And I think we are pretty much done back here. Take two. I just <laughs> talked for like three minutes on a still photo, so you have no idea what's going on. <laughs> um, we finished. We got it all mounted. Yeah. It's looking great. Looks really I just got to do some trim work, um, do some more securing in the back. I got to clean up the the old cover that goes back there and kind of insulate it and put some so the uh, mosquitoes and bugs and stuff don't get yeah, in through there. The dust for sure. In the dust, yeah, definitely <laughs> the dust. But yeah, it looks great. So I'll take some still photos and insert them here. But I think we're officially done with our new install. So what should they do, Rick? Um, plan appropriately and if you can do it go with the residential compressor yeah. style refrigerator um we did the same thing in our rv and we love it over the you know the propane fridge yeah uh, he's actually the, the reason that we did it this way so <laughs> shout out to rick and Teresa for motivating us to get a new refrigerator we don't have to worry about every morning when we wake up so yep. we'll see you next week everyone don't forget to like subscribe and click the notification bell uh... growl <laughs>